Hey guys, welcome back, or if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. Now today, we are gonna be talking all about nude lip products. Now I basically rounded up all of my current favorite lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, lip glosses, all in the nude category. When I was choosing all of these lip products, I did sort of try and not think too much about it. I was just like, okay, Jamie, what are the lip products that you just reach for the most? And those were the ones that I chose today. So I do have quite a lot of favorites, but that's not a bad thing because that just means that there are a lot of recommendations for you guys. So I really hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to let me know what you thought in the comments and definitely let me know your favorite nude lip product. The comment sections in these types of videos are always my favorite because there's always just such wonderful recommendations from you guys so definitely leave all of your thoughts down there give this video a big thumbs up of course if you'd like to see more like this and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed already I'm staring at the volume of products that I have to talk about right now and I'm realizing that I should probably start because otherwise this video is gonna be quite long so let's just get right into it so let's first start off with my favorite nude lip product formula, and that is the traditional lipstick. Obviously, the traditional nude lipstick is a classic, and it's definitely my preference when it comes to this color family. So starting off with probably my newest find, these are the MAC Lip Tensities. And these three are definitely my favorites, and it's the ones that I want to talk about today. So the first one that I have over here is the one that I'm actually wearing on my lips, and it is called Driftwood. Now this is a very interesting nude. It's really not your typical pinky nude, which is why I do really like this color. It has a little bit of a coolish gray undertone to it, which just gives it a little bit of an edge. Going a little bit more cool tone with your nudes is definitely a really nice way to sort of winterfy <laughs> your lipstick look, if that makes any sense. You guys totally know what I mean. Doe is the next shade that I really love from this collection. This is just a pure nude shade. It's sort of like a neutral nude leaning a little bit more warm, and I really feel like this is just such a universally flattering color, and then paired with the Lip Tensity formula, which I just love. It's sort of like a match made in heaven, to be honest with you. Now, if you're looking for a nude that's a little bit warmer and a little bit deeper than you would really like Smoked Almond, this is a beautiful like medium tone, very warm nude. This type of color is really easy to wear because it has those warm undertones. It's very flattering on basically everybody. And because it is more of a medium nude, it's not going to wash you out. And it's just a very easy color to just pop on. So now moving on to Bite Beauty Honeycomb. This is part of their Amuse Bouche collection. If you're not familiar with Bite Lip products, you really should be because they are so fantastic. Probably one of my top three lipstick formulas. This one in Honeycomb is definitely no exception. This is just the perfect mid-tone neutral nude. It's really the type of color that will go with absolutely every single eye look and that is why I love to have it in my collection and it is one that I would definitely have to highly recommend at the top of the list. Now this next one is definitely a little bit different but I did want to mention it because it is a lip product that I do like to wear more on an everyday basis. This is the Paracone MD No Lipstick Lipstick. Now when I first bought this lipstick to be honest with you I was questioning my sanity just a little bit because this is such an expensive lip product for really nothing too crazy special but I do find myself reaching for this so often that I do got to say it is worth it just because it is really great for every day and if you do like lip products like this I would have to say that I recommend it so this concept for this lipstick is that it's a no lipstick lipstick so it's supposed to look very natural on the lips and it definitely does look very natural it almost sort of just amplifies my natural lip color and adds a really really beautiful like glossy sheen to my lips and it makes my lips look so like juicy and big and it's definitely one of my favorite everyday nudes if you were to ask me what my favorite type of nude lip product is i would definitely have to say pinky nudes and i have found a new pinky nude that i just am completely in love with this is another one that a lot of people have been talking about recently it is from charlotte tilbury and it is the shade kim kw now to me a perfect pinky nude lip product does not have too much pink in it, it sort of leans a little bit more beige with just a splash of pink it's almost more of like a blush color and this is what kim kw from Charlotte Tilbury is it is honestly just the perfect tone and I love that it's not too light that it becomes unwearable and I really do love the formula of the Charlotte Tilbury lip products they are very nice and creamy have a really nice opacity to them and they do wear fairly well so the next two lip products that I have over here are both from the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick Collection. So I sort of wanted to mention these almost as a duo because I just love wearing them together. I very rarely wear them on their own. The first one that I have over here is called Insanity. And this is just a very simple neutral nude. And I love layering it with the shade Barfly. Now Barfly is definitely way too light for me to wear by itself but because of the peachy undertones it really complements insanity just perfectly and then layering barfly right in the center of the lips on top of insanity 
gives the lips the most beautiful highlighted effect which just in turn makes your lips look very full and it's definitely one of my favorite nude lip combos of course i cannot not mention my ysl number 10 beige tribute this is another gorgeous pinky nude honestly it is pretty similar to kim kw but i would say that this one is a little bit more pink so if you are looking for a pinky nude that does have more of those pink undertones in it this is a really great option now if you're not familiar with the bite multi sticks really quickly they're basically a stick that looks like this and you could apply this all over your face on your cheeks on your lips on your eyes even on your brows if you wanted to so it is more of like a multi-purpose type product but I typically like to use the multi sticks on my lips it's just what I use them the most for and this color right over here called honeyweed probably one of the more unique nudes that I'm mentioning today now this shade almost has like mustard undertones to it which may sound a little bit weird especially for a product that's supposed to go on your lips and if you're looking at this and you're a little bit frightened by the color I would say to try try it out because it may surprise you. I think that this color is extremely flattering and though it is more out of the box than your typical nude, I think it is still extremely wearable and definitely worth checking out. And this is the Bite High Pigment Lip Pencil in the shade Mad. Daira Madaria, not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but as always, all the names of the products will be listed in the description box. But this is another just gorgeous, very light peachy pink nude. This is a really great shade just to pop on your lips. I love the crayon format. It makes it really easy to just sort of color in your lips on the go. They are very creamy, have a really nice sheen to them as well. And this color is just beautiful if you like those really light peachy pinky nudes. This is the Lasting Finish by Kate Lipstick in the shade number 40. Five. This is such a gorgeous nude lip product. Um, the formula on this is a little bit sheer, but it is very buildable. So you can get a really nice just soft wash of color with this, or you could definitely build it up to get something a little bit more opaque. Honestly, now that I'm looking at it side by side, this is almost an exact dupe to the shade um, Madeira, Madeira, the Bite Lipstick shade that I could have pronounced. They look exactly the same side by side. They even have the same finish. So there you go. I just found a dupe on the go. If you are looking for a cheaper alternative, this is a really great option. So this is actually the last lipstick that I have here. This is the ColourPop Matte X Lippy Stick in the shade Hollywood Boulevard. It almost reminds me a little bit of Honey Wheat because it has those very warm almost yellowy undertones to it so it is really gorgeous really warms up the face and I think this is beautiful especially for the winter season so that's it for the lipstick category so now let's move on to the liquid lipsticks and I actually only have four so first things first we got to talk about Jouer you guys know that the Jouer liquid lipsticks are my favorites by far. So these two are my two favorite nudes from the collection. The first one over here is called Buff. This is a really beautiful, very light peachy nude. I find it really difficult to find a very, very light nude liquid lipstick. A lot of times when liquid lipsticks are very light, they'll almost look chalky and it'll be really hard to get a completely opaque finish. But with Buff, I do not have any issues with the application. And I really love that it has more of a peachy undertone. I think it is very flattering. So this is definitely one of the faves. Now, if I were to ever create a liquid lipstick it would probably look a little something like tawny rose now tawny rose is just my favorite like mauvey pink nude shade where buff can be a little bit unwearable for some people this type of shade is so wearable and so easy to pull off i just honestly love the tone of it everything about it is just perfection there's so many mauve pinky nudes on the market but this one is definitely my favorite next we have a kat von d bow and arrow and i think this is definitely one of the nicest nude liquid lipsticks out there and i find it really interesting how different this shade looks on so many different people every time I see it on somebody else it looks like a completely different lipstick so it's basically like a medium neutral nude but it definitely has like a pinch more of like a warmer undertone to it this is definitely one that I would highly recommend everybody to check out so next I have an option from Colourpop and this is an ultra satin lip in the shade 0, which is actually one of Kathleen Light's creations she always creates like the most gorgeous colors with Colourpop what I really like about the shade is that it is definitely a little bit more unique it's not a shade that you could find absolutely everywhere it's more on the cool tone side makes it a little bit different so if you're looking for a new that has a little bit of like a different vibe to it this is a really great option so there is sort of like this really awkward category that's in between a liquid lipstick and a gloss and it's a lip product that applies like a liquid lipstick but it does not totally dry down and it has a little bit of a sheen like a gloss so i want to recommend three products from that category so the first one that i have over here is a nars velvet lip glide in the shade stripped this is 
another one of my newer finds, but I have completely fallen in love with this formula. So easy to wear, so comfortable, and it has like the most amazing texture to it. The shade Stripped is such a beautiful light nude, but it's very wearable because it's not too opaque. It's not like those very intense um, nude glosses that are almost impossible to wear because they're almost too stark. This one does have a little bit of transparency in it that just makes it very easy to wear and easy to pop on without having to worry about making it look perfect and that's why I really love this one. So next I have two shades from the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick line. Now generally I love this lip product. I love so many of the colors from the line. Now Melted Sugar is a very 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 light nude. Typically I do like to wear this more like in the center of my lips and more as a highlight shade but you could totally wear this on its own. Then I have the shade Chocolate Milkshake and the reason why I wanted to mention this one is because I feel like it's definitely more on the unique side but still very wearable. It has almost like an orangey terracotta undertone. This shade is really interesting. It really warms up the complexion and I think it's definitely one to check out. So now let's get into all of my favorite nude lip glosses. Now nude lip glosses are basically the only type of lip gloss that I wear. I very rarely wear like a colored lip gloss. So because they are my most worn, I definitely have a few that I reach for the most and that are sort of colors that I always have to have in my collection because I do wear them quite often. So first things first, let's talk about the Tarte Glossy Paint in the shade Hella. Now the glossy lip paints are some of my favorite lip glosses in general, but this one in the shade Hella is definitely my most used. This is more of like a pinky nude and it's so beautiful because it is definitely more on the lighter side. So to give my lips more of a fuller effect, I've mentioned this so many times throughout this video, but I do like to apply lighter colors in the center of my lips just to give my lips more of like a 3D dimensional effect. And because these are so glossy, it literally makes your lips look almost like glass. Next I have a Bite lip gloss in the shade Honey. So this lip gloss is definitely more on the stickier side, there's no denying that, but the nice thing about that is that they do last quite a nice amount of time on the lips, however if you are not into sticky lip glosses, I would just stay away from this in general. But Personally, I don't really mind it. So this is more of like a peachy nude and it has, like I said, a lot of gold shimmer in it. So it just really catches the light when it's on the lips. This one is definitely also more on the sheer side. So it is a type of lip gloss that I like to layer rather than wear by itself. Now when I wanna just pop on a gloss and not really have to worry about applying a lipstick underneath, then I love using NARS Chelsea Girl. It's definitely a your lips but better type of shade. It has a little bit more of like a peachier undertone. It's just a very easy gloss to wear has a really nice creamy texture to it and no shimmer. Now you guys probably also know how much I love the Marc Jacobs enamored lip glosses. This one over here is called Pretty Thing and this is the shade that I would recommend to absolutely everybody just because I find that it is definitely the most universal. To put it very simply, this is just one of my go-to nude lip glosses because it just goes with absolutely everything. I could layer it on top of any nude lip product, no problem, and I could also wear it by itself. It will also be flattering on everybody because it's not too light and not too dark. Wow. I spoke a lot in this video. <laughs> I'm gonna need to chug a big glass of water after this. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to let me know what your favorite new lip product is in the comments. Give this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I hope you guys found this video helpful and I will see you guys next time. Bye.